can unbox the challenge. Three social media stars receive a mystery box of ingredients. <sighs> There's a lot in here. A limited budget. Walmart gods, please. Limited time. Timer starts now. And a two-part challenge. Oh my god. No, I'm not gonna give up on this. Create an amazing dish. Three course meal. What the heck? And an epic video. I did it again. There we go. All three are competing for the hearts, eyes, and likes of our judges. Hot and spicy spam, baby. My goodness. Oh, yum. But only one of them will win the grand prize. And the best part? All recipes are available for you to try at home. This is Unbox. Hello, and thank you for tuning in to So Yummy TV. My name is Tess Panzer, and you are watching Unboxed. Now, with me, as always, is Mac Cahey. As my guest judge, Mac will be watching along to help me determine the winner of this week's episode. Now, the theme this week is the kitchen sink challenge, as in we will be throwing everything but the kitchen sink at our competitors. Now, not only does this episode feature an extra large mystery box, it also pits one previous challenge champion against a returning fan favorite and a scrappy newcomer. Mac, you ready? Yes, it's gonna be a big challenge. I'm ready to see these contestants. Yes, all right. So let's meet <laughs> our first contestant, Tori. Now, although this may be Tori's first time on Unbox, they certainly have more than a few tricks up their sleeve. Let's take a look. What a cookie, just one cookie. We're gonna make one. Let's go. <laughs> a tablespoon brown sugar, two tablespoons of melted butter, just salt, a tablespoon of milk. The hair, the eyeshadow, yes. just that rapid fire. Mm -hmm. Measure it with your heart. Right. parchment paper on a plate. Microwave for a minute. It took two and a half minutes. A cookie for one. You don't have to share. Try it. Do the thing. Do the thing. Do the thing. <laughs> Cute, I like it. What do you think of Tori? They seem very, a big ball of energy. It's gonna be exciting to see what they gotta do. It is gonna be exciting. All right, so our second contestant and first returning competitor is Mike, or as we know him, Spur Wheezy. Spur Wheezy. Spur Wheezy. <laughs> uh, Mike won over audiences with his fun and positive energy, but did miss one ingredient which cost him the victory. <laughs> Let's have a look. All right, y'all. I missed my package, so I'm now picking up my package. <laughs> no, Spare Wheezy. It's all my fault. We got it. I like the guy. <laughs> Maybe right? the surprise element he's giving us. You know, we don't know what he's gonna do next. Hmm. <gasps> oh. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Kind of cute, actually. Yeah, I like it. I like it. So we just pulled up to Walmart. Boom, boom. I really want to get something from this aisle, but I know I shouldn't. Should I? <laughs> so happy. So happy. Energetic. Now's the time where I just cook. Really, really mm. loving the textures on this. Oh, no. No. I didn't do it. Oh, no. Ah! I never got the bacon on there. Dang. Oh, oh spur Mike Spurweezy. <laughs> All right, our final contestant and previous challenge champion is Sunny. Now, Sunny's expertise ultimately got him the victory last time on Unbox. Let's have a look. Okay, what do we got? Strawberries, iron skillet, know my way around one of those. Okay, <sighs> Woo! I got the blah, flutters. Create two dishes, a dinner and dessert. I know what I'm looking for. Where is it? Graham crackers. I feel like the confusion is set in. Yeah. Let's do this. 60 minutes, all in the water. Ah! <laughs> Just playing. No, no, Sunny. <laughs> We're gonna pick the cranberries out, throw them in the strawberries. Why did I decide to do that? I already regret it. Yeah, that was an interesting time decision to separate the trail mix uh -huh, like that. Uh-huh, Melt chocolate, uh oh. Double boil over the beef. It's got a lot going on. Mm -hmm. Bang, bang, bang. Okay. Are you not satisfied? This guy is a pro. Whoa. You know I love you when I'm out. Take a bow, Sunny. Take a bow. <laughs> all right, well, we all know Sunny is very skilled, but I'm curious to see if he can do it again this time. Yeah, I'm just excited to see his level of chaos again. Yes. <laughs> As we said at the top of the show, our theme this week is the kitchen sink challenge. So earlier today, we sent our contestants an extra large mystery box containing a loaf of bread, smoked salmon, Gruyere cheese, marinara sauce, cayenne powder, avocado, ketchup, green olives, condensed milk, 
and goldfish crackers. Contestants must also purchase no less than seven additional ingredients with the $20 Walmart gift card we provided. They must also utilize the spatula found within the mystery box. They will only have 90 minutes to prep and plate their dishes once they've gathered all their ingredients, but our chefs will only be allowed to use one pot or one pan to create their three course meal. Our contestants received their mystery boxes this morning. Let's see how they reacted. You wouldn't believe where I'm going next. <laughs> because somehow <laughs> I missed my package again. You I missed didn't the package again. At home. I waited. Uh, the guy couldn't get into the building or what. But for whatever reason, got an email saying they missed me. Ah! Luckily, we got it. I got an unbox challenge. Let's do this. This one is heavy. Oh, oh boy. Uh, yeah, there's a lot in this yep. one, guys. A lot. All right. What do we got? Some goldfish. Oh my gosh. Sunny is not <laughs> impressed by the goldfish. Some ketchup. That's good. Sweetened condensed milk. Ketchup and condensed milk and goldfish. I don't see how these things go together. What is this? Marinara pasta sauce. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Honey wheat bread. Olives. Oh, man. So again, we're doing three courses, so not everything has to really, really gel come together. together. Okay. This is the tool I've got to use at least once. I mean, who doesn't know how to use a spatula? An avocado. Thanks. Cayenne pepper. Whew. Wait, there's more. We got... Salmon. Nice. Salmon and condensed milk. That. That's a dish, all right. Tori has no idea what a box this is relative to the rest of the season, you know? <laughs> Some Gruyere cheese. This is gonna be crazy. We got a timer in here. Excellent. Walmart gift card. This is really gonna come in handy. Time to see what this challenge is. The kitchen sink. That's what I would call this as well. Create a three course meal. Three course meal? What the heck? You must also purchase no less than seven additional ingredients using your $20 Walmart gift card. $20, seven ingredients. You must also utilize the tool found within the box. You will have only 90 minutes to prepare your dishes once you have gathered all your ingredients. Okay. You cannot use more than one pot or pan. One pan. Thank you, Unboxed. And one pan. I don't know, let's go to Walmart and see how it goes. Oh, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> wow. It is gonna be fun. This is a tough challenge and their reactions make sense. They're nervous. I can't wait to see what they do. <laughs> Same. All right, what exactly will our chefs create? Well, stick around and find out. Welcome back to Unboxed, where social media chefs tackle a mystery box of ingredients. And remember, our chefs aren't just limited to the ingredients they received in their mystery boxes. We provided each of them with a $20 Walmart gift card to purchase additional ingredients. So let's see what they got. Oh boy, I can only use one pan. And that's what's really throwing me through a yeah, loop. Yeah, that one pan yeah. thing yeah. is a doozy. Tough. Turn this goldfish into a cracker. Scratch that. <sighs> Three courses. <laughs> we just gotta get creative. We gotta like have some fun with it. Oh man. Okay, so three course meal. The obvious thing here for me would be to use the condensed milk in the dessert. The rest of this though. All right, y'all. So we are on our way to Walmart right now. This is hard. Ah! Can we just talk about Mike's shirt? <laughs> the love print. Shirt. Yes. The, I love the puzzle it. piece. <laughs> Wild animal print, love it. I hope they have that puff pastry stuff. Dude, I know they must have it. There they are. Oh, yes. You better be good. Anything I can save on money here? Worst, man, I'm so nervous. I'm getting nervous. I don't know if I'm gonna make it under budget. $5 for this. Brown sugar. Some pudding mix. We're gonna make some turkey meatballs. Bread crumbs. I got a few more things to get. Zucchini and a squash. Every cent counts. I forgot that I need milk for the bread pudding. You're in the wrong aisle, Sonny. <laughs> this is it. This is all we can do. Croissant rolls, white onion, red cabbage, cream cheese, basil. Hot and spicy spam, baby! Hot oh, and spicy no. spam. Oh my goodness. Oh, yum. It's time to check out and see how we did. <laughs> Cutting it close. Fourteen ninety-two. I came in $5 under budget. I'm proud of myself. Go back, get some more. <laughs> Walmart gods, please. This is where it starts to hurt, man. Oh. 
Let's see. Oh, 19. 19, okay. Yep. Man, that's awesome. I think we're gonna make it work, okay? We're gonna be fine. I got one last thing, I forgot. Oh, and I think that's a snack. Sweet tea, because I'm thirsty. Came up to $18.71. Okay, so he got close, although I will say probably about a dollar of that was for a little hydration for himself <laughs> yeah. at the end. Oh my goodness. All right, so let's take a closer look at their shopping lists and see exactly what we're up against with Tori first. Okay. Seven ingredients at least, so that's perfect. I will say uh, they, considering they came in five under budget, they got a lot for their money. Mm -hmm. Let's check out uh, Mike's list next. Okay. Hot and spicy Ooh. spam. Ooh, canned herring and Kinder Bueno bar. If I thought Tori's list was <laughs> a little all over the place, this is certainly that. I didn't even know it came hot and spicy. It definitely comes hot and spicy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, finally, let's check out Sunny. Okay, and he got, oh, a shorter list. Okay, interesting. Um, I think Sunny spent the most out of everybody, mm -hmm. but has the fewest ingredients. I'm curious to see where he goes. Yeah, He's same. a very confident cook. This may be the shortest list, but he did win his episode, so we do know he knows what he's doing. Mm -hmm. He is a good cook, and it is time to start cooking. Let's see what our chefs create. Tori is up first. We're back from Walmart. So I'm actually gonna start with the dessert. We're gonna be making dessert a really first. I love their tattoos. Mm -hmm. A box of pudding mix and a couple cups of heavy cream. Whip it together. We gotta move fast. Perfect. Throw that in the freezer so it sets faster. And then you have mousse. Oh, I'm kicking myself right now. I am making this awesome meal and I didn't buy any garlic. Oh no. Hey. Uh, you had five extra dollars. I should have bought garlic. Veggies in. So we've got one pan right now. This is the one we're gonna have to stick with. So you're gonna do some salt, pepper, paprika. Do like a veggie stir fry type thing, but not really a stir fry because it's gonna be a sauce. Okay, now we're gonna start our meatballs. I think crushing like crackers, this is like the best way to get your aggression out. That looks good to me. I just saw the olives on the counter and I was like, oh, I'm gonna have to put those in there. We got time, I'm gonna chop them. Hey, you guys gave them a lot, so I think they're yeah. forgetting what's in the yeah. box, too. Yeah, I... Cameraman, some olives over here. Bread crumbs, ketchup, a little bit of cream. And move it to a bowl. Same pan back on. Pan, all right. So far, so good. Mm -hmm. These meatballs are looking a little sad. I'm gonna create my caramel in the microwave. We got our margarine. Three minutes. Sugar's melting nicely. Can you dice the milk? So honestly, like the easiest way to make caramel. Ah. Until it explodes on you. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> We're getting there. Running low on time now, too. Oh, it spilled. Oh, no. Oh, there, it goes. there it goes. Yep. I really need this caramel to come together. Microwaves are hard. I was about to say, why are they doing it in the microwave, but then the one pot thing? The one yeah. pot, yeah. <laughs> Meatball down. Vegetables back in. 18 minutes left. Something's missing. Garlic. Garlic powder, <laughs> that's what's missing. <laughs> I'm gonna add some of this cheese into the sauce. Using one of my kids' cups, because we're gonna look fancy. Avocado. I'm fancy. Look at my salmon rose. That's so salmon rose, that was cute. Yeah, a little fancy avocado toast. Back to this caramel. That is just driving me insane. Caramel. Oh goodness, I'm running out of time. I can do it, I can do it. Yes, come on, Tori. I did it. Oh. <laughs> A certain emoji comes to mind, am I right? <laughs> am I right? We got an appetizer. We had avocado toast. With That's salmon pretty. Bread That's really That's pretty. That's our entree. There's a name for it. I don't know it, but there's a name for that. We'll find the name for you. The chocolate mousse is killing me. I beat the challenge. Uh, all right, okay. nice one, Tori. Very Good nicely job, done. Tori. What, did, what did you think of what Tori did? Um, <laughs> that dessert dish is very interesting. A very interesting presentation at the end. All right, when we come back, we'll see how our returning chefs performed in the kitchen. Stay tuned.
All right, the competition is getting serious. Let's see what Mike has in store for us. Three course meal, 90 minutes, one pot. Look at all that food. Yes. Steel pan, there's a lot of surface area. Let's do this. I'm excited about using one pan because that means it's just less dishes. I'm gonna cut an onion first because I hate doing them. So get it out the way now. Yeah, <laughs> good plan of attack. I forgot to take the sticker off. Ooh. Oh, oh, yummy. Yum. Just look at that oh. deliciousness. Ooh, this might not be a great idea. <laughs> Thanks, so yummy, for the rolling pin. You're welcome. <laughs> Goldfish with some crunch. Olives, even the salmon. Oh, that's a fun oh. little roulade. Very interesting. Yeah, that's creative. Marinara sauce, spam and onions. Got the cheese. Cream cheese, sweet condensed milk, Kinder Bueno bar. Oh, yeah. Air fryer also. <laughs> yes. I think I'm done. This feels weird, because I feel like I'm missing something. Boom, we're done. We got everything cooked. Please, oh, please no, don't be no, missing no. something. Tell me you're not. Yo, I feel good about that one. Sliced pinwheels, has olives, even the salmon. Old fish are in there for some crunch. Main course, we got pizza bread or the marinara sauce. We got the cheese. We got some plantains with the red cabbage. And then finally for dessert, the salt with the sweetened condensed milk, crushed Kinder Bueno bar. Did we get... I did it again. No. I did it. Did we get the no. olives? Oh, no. no. I'm kind of mad at myself right now. I'm not going to lie. Ah, uh, he could have at least just uh, flipped something yeah. with it. Come on. <sighs> please, please don't dock me for that. And I flipped. I, I used What did you like flip your, what did you flip anything with? Everything, everything else everything but, but the spatula. I could have used this. Come so on. Just doing everything. Well, we'll talk about it. We'll talk yeah, about we'll it. We'll talk about it. So. Mike Spurweezy did use a spatula. He just did not use the, the spatula. spatula. All right, but we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. <laughs> we'll powwow about that one later. Um, what else did you think about what he'd made? Um, interesting, with the herring and the, the, the hot and spicy spam. Yeah. Uh. The ingredients he chose to buy or actually more mystery box devious ingredients than yeah. we actually sent to him. Mm -hmm. um, so he's really just a sucker for punishment. <laughs> um, anyway, let's check out Sonny. Let's see what he's got. 90 minutes on the clock, let's go. Salmon. I'm gonna roll them up. Sour cream, right on top. The olive. And the garnish. Ah, voila. Smoked salmon, avocado, sour cream, olive, buttery cracker appetizers. Those are pretty. Wow, the buttery cracker. This challenge, we're only allowed to use one pan. Trying to make a cheese sauce out of the goldfish crackers. Take a little swim. Cayenne in this sauce. Gruyere cheese. Oh. I feel like goldfishes aren't as cheesy for a cheese sauce. It's a clever way to hide them. This is kind of a throwaway. Yeah. A little peppery cheese sauce. That's perfect. There we go. You gotta factor in clean up for that one pan. Stuffed crust or nothing going in. Nice little mixy mix. Why did I do this? It's perfect. Base layer. Oh my God, I can't wait to try this. Just a little sauce, just ketchup. Okay, I don't know if this is enough cheese. Olives, in it goes. I was trying to think of something more creative to do with it. Oh, oh. went right over my head. <laughs> He's using the spatula. Yes. Score. Two in a row. I guess uh, we can count it like that. Five. We're gonna take our honey wheat bread and turn it into a bread pudding. Milk, cream, cinnamon, sweetened condensed milk. Straight in. Apricot. Ooh. Uh, Ooh. Mm -hmm. That looks good. That looks good. Yeah, that's good. <sighs> bread pudding in. Sayonara. Okay. Golden brown. Very nice. Oh. He's making some legit dishes here. Mm -hmm. okay. Just a little jiggle jiggle. Oh my god. No, I'm not gonna give up on this. No. <laughs> that hurts. I don't might have to switch my plan. That's not gonna whip. Okay, we're gonna let that freeze. Pizza, 
frozen cream, like little straws. Three course meal, one pan. Very interesting presentation oh, at the yeah. end. Yeah. That was fun. Let's taste it. That was that was fun. <laughs> Best course of the night. Mm. And I'm out. <laughs> and he's out. Good Looks job. Like he needs Good a job. Nap. <laughs> <laughs> um, what did you think of Sunny's uh, creations? I'd say the presentation at the end was a bit of a choice, but all the dishes looked delicious. Well, you know what? We are ready to determine the winner of this week's episode. But before we get into judging, we here at So Yummy decided to take this week's Unbox Challenge ourselves. And this is what we came up with. With this many ingredients, we knew we needed to bring our A game. First off, we made smoked salmon and avocado mousse gougeres. For our entree, we created a delicious chicken puttanesca meatloaf. Finally, with our remaining ingredients, we whipped up a tasty French toast bread pudding the perfect end to a perfect meal. Oh yeah, I could have totally made that. <laughs> yeah. All right, when we come back, we will determine the winner of this week's episode. Stay with us. Welcome back to Unbox. Now let's take a quick look at the epic videos our contestants made to showcase their recipes. I've been challenged to create a three course meal using only these ingredients in one pan. Easy, let's go. We're gonna make a mousse, heavy cream and pudding mix. Cooked veg, making meatballs in a pan. Caramel in the microwave. Got our sauce going, meatballs are done. And we're making avocado toast. Three course meal is done with five minutes remaining. Let me show you. Appetizer, avocado toast, salmon roses. Then we got some vegetables and sauce with some meatballs and cheese. I measured it with my heart. And for dessert, we got a chocolate mousse with a condensed milk microwave caramel sauce. You gotta try these. Do the thing. Three course meal, one pot or pan. Ooh. Some goldfish with some crunch. Has olives, even the salmon. Marinara sauce, got the cheese. Cream cheese, sweet condensed milk, Kinder Bueno bar. Oh yeah. Got the avocado. Wow. Starters, the main course, and then dessert. Mm. Three course meal, one pan. That sour cream right on top. And the garnish, ah, voila. Cheese sauce out of the goldfish crackers. A little swim. Oh, <laughs> sauce. I don't know if this is enough cheese. <laughs> Olives. We're gonna take our honey wheat bread and turn it into a bread pudding. Soak it up. Here we go. Apricot and bread pudding. Quickly, I gotta get this thing out. Bread pudding in. Uh, let me see. Just a little jiggle jiggle. Get some bartenders feel. Woo! Three course meal, one pan. Mmm. Best course of the night. And I'm out. Yum. Yum, 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 yum. yum. <laughs> Yummy. Um, what did you think of their videos? I mean, TikTok is definitely their platform, and they are very creative people. But I think it's time for us to get into this final judging. Yes. So, Mac, let's start with Tori. How did you grade them in all three categories? Okay, Tori. For resources, I gave them a two out of three. They were the cheapest in the budget, and that is a point off in my book. Mm -hmm. For technique, I gave them a three out of three. They did the thing. It was a delicious dish, even though that poop swirl was kind of interesting. And the presentation, I gave him a two out of three because the poop swirl kind of <laughs> really took away a point for me. And that is a total of seven out of nine for Tori. How about you? Okay. All right, so for Tori, I gave them a three out of three for resourcefulness because, let's be fair, they, they really executed on the ask of the competition got all their ingredients, you know, nailed that aspect for me. I gave them a two out of three on technique. The microwave caramel sauce, I don't know how successful that really was. And I didn't see any techniques in there that really blew me away. Mm -hmm. And then for presentation, I gave them a two out of three. So that is a total of seven out of nine for Tori. Mm -hmm. Now, what did you give Mike in all three categories? A Mike Spurweezy yes. for resourcefulness. I gave him a two out of three only because the spatula. To me, that just means a point off of his book. Um, for technique, a three out of three because that man threw everything but the kitchen sink into his dish. And for presentation, I gave him a three out of three. And that is a total of eight out of nine for 
Mike. All right, so for Mike, I also gave him a two out of three for resourcefulness. <laughs> for technique, I gave him a three out of three. I loved the cooktop he used to, to prepare all his dishes on. And then I finally gave him a two out of three for presentation. The dessert was a little unimpressive and the TikTok was okay. <laughs> Right? So that's a total of seven out of nine for Mike. How about Sunny? For Sunny, for resourcefulness, I gave him a three out of three. Um, his technique, I gave him a two out of three, mainly because of the cheese sauce. I feel like adding the goldfish into the cheese sauce was a bit of a throwaway, mm -hmm. and that was a point off for me. And a presentation, I gave him a one out of three. It looked delicious, but the presentation was very lacking to me. All right, well, for Sunny, I gave him a three out of three for resourcefulness. For technique, I gave him a two out of three. I, I didn't see anything in there that really blew me away. I thought he had nice techniques in there. And then finally, for presentation, I gave him a two out of three. His dishes, apart from the salmon bites, didn't look so great, and he didn't do a great job of explaining them either. Um, so that's a total of seven out of nine for Sunny. <laughs> Looks like someone made a big comeback. <laughs> <laughs> that is right. Okay, so with a total of 15 points, Mike Spurweezy is Ooh, this week's talent yes, champion. Yes, Mike. Yes. <laughs> well, Mike is actually coming to us live from his home. Mike, congratulations. Well done. Hey, y'all. Uh, thanks for having me. I wasn't expecting to win, but it definitely feels good. It was a great experience, a fun opportunity, and yeah, I appreciate y'all for having me. How do you think you were able to pull out the win this time around? I was a little bit more thoughtful this time around. I did a little bit more research and brainstorming before shopping, and I think that's what helped me out this time. Well, you did an awesome job. Thanks so much, y'all. I had a blast. See you later. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching Unboxed. Congratulations to Mike, our winner, and a special thank you to Mac for joining me today. Until next time, I'm Tess Panzer, signing off.